This is the Wow Hua Hin Channel. Hello, welcome to Wow Hua Hin Channel. My name is Nook. I'm here with a special guest. He's a very well-known person from Holland. His name is Mr. Emil Rattaban. Thank you so much it's for being so here It's so good pronunciation. Eh? <laughs> you make, really, it's like, it's so difficult, I know, for people to pronounce my name because my name is French, Emil, and Rattelband is like a, <laughs> you know, a real Dutch, but you're doing great. Compliments, compliments. <laughs> Thank you for uh, invitating me on this uh, beautiful spot. It's uh, Phoenix. Yeah, and it's like, uh, yeah, I've never seen this before in, in totally whole Thailand because you have a choice of about more than 435 different kinds of wines, liquors, <laughs> tequilas, whiskies, cognacs, brands. It's incredible. And then they asked me, which wine do you like? And then I said, yeah, I only drink water. So that means you have one more <laughs> different kind now in this fantastic Soy 51 establishment. So thank you very much for uh, that I can be your guest in your show. Yeah. Thank you very much. I feel so honored that you're here today. Um, can you please tell me a little bit about you? Like, why do why are so many people know you? Like, I know that you're a well-known person from Holland. Like, ah. what have you done in Holland? You know? Well, you know, it's it's like not common. Uh, I have uh, five uh, girls and four uh, girl girls uh, uh, daughters and uh, four boys. And one is more coming, and on my age, that's not quite normal, actually. I'm 48. Uh, yes, I'm 48 is a biological age, uh, because it's like uh, the f I'm the age fluid man, and I can control my age. I, I make my own health, and I make my own age. And so that makes me very interesting for people. And I'm uh, very well known because I'm a public speaker in Holland. And I'm giving seminars, workshops, lectures, something like that. And it's about human behavior. And I'm also an author, and I write books about uh, how you can behave, how you can change your perception, uh, what the reality is an illusion, and about health, and about spirituality, wow. and the mental processes, and the physical processes. And that's always uh, very advanced, so I'm like a precursor, actually. And the people, when they don't understand, you know, then after five years, or 10 years, or 55 years, they say, well, I've heard that, that he was saying about that, and now I understand. So the things I'm saying is uh, pretty weird, and, but the people who are uh, really advanced, they understand. I know that like, you author, like, how many languages that you, like, it, with the, your books? Uh, uh, my books are only in 16 languages. 16? I wrote uh, 19 books about human behavior. And uh, I speak French, uh, Span Spanish, uh, German, Dutch, English. And I do, uh, when I'm in Russia or Saudi Arabia, or in Japan or China, I have always uh, somebody who t speaks uh, with me at the same, same pace and uh, controls me and translates my, my languages. You have Thai? Uh, I'm learning Thai, but I'm uh, now two months uh, busy, and I find a way how to learn, because everybody has a strategy, you know? Everybody has a strategy to get sick, or to get uh, broke, or to get wealthy, or to get healthy, everybody has a strategy. And so I also have a strategy to learn a language. So first, now I have to learn which strategy I've got to learn my Spanish. You know, and, but that I cannot get that strategy and put it on the Thai language because in the Spanish language are many words who you can relate on in the Dutch language. And in, Ital in, in Thai, it's nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying and doing my best, and I, I try out of my head, you know, and I try to speak. I try to get the tonalities on the right spot. It, it's very hard, but I will make it. At the end of this year, not this year, not in December, but today in the year, I will speak Thai. Mm -hmm. How long have you been living in Hohen? How long? I live uh, three months over here now. Oh, okay. And I'm really falling in love. I really fell in love with the people, I fell in love with the food, I really fell in love with the environment, I fell in love with the beaches, I fell in love with... So it's like, it's like a village atmosphere in a city, you know? And it's so rich because you can do everything in the night time, you can do in the morning, you know, you, have, you can breakfast on all the time, you have lunch places, you can go for dinner, you have star, number one Michelin star restaurants, uh, you have all kinds of bar, well, look around over here. It's, it's a pleasant and it's like, a, you know, it's like a Mo Monaco, for me it's like Monaco or like Hong Kong 
But at the same time, five minutes later on, you are in the meadow, you're on the beach, you know, you have nightlife, and you have also normal life. It's fantastic. I, I really fell in love. Mm -hmm. how, like, how do you know about Thailand? Like, what made you, you know, like... What I know about Thailand? Yeah. Uh, just a little bit. Huh? So you, you don't have friends, like, you have friends, like, you knew about Thailand from your friends, like, well, that's why you came here? Most or? people don't know, but about 53 years ago, I lived two years over here. Oh, okay. Yes, I lived in Pattaya, but that time Pattaya was only beach. <laughs> and there was only one small hotel. Jumped 53 years ago. Jumped in, uh -huh. 53 years ago. And there was one small hotel, jumped in hotel. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was with a friend, and we were sitting on the beach, you know, enjoying the sand and the food and all kind of stuff. And then we saw a small dot at the end of the sea, and it come closer and closer. And it was an air carrier from, with, full of GIs, because it was Vietnam War and Cambodian War. And then all those GIs, they come to the beach, you know. And when the same time they come from the beach, from the woods come the girls. And the men with the stables, you know, to make the food. And the guy, the GIs, stays about 36 hours. And they spent thousands of dollars. And we were looking. And then they left. So and that what happened that two times, and then we start a school, a sailing school. Because the what school? A, a sailing school. Okay, sailing. We imported uh, catamaran, that's uh, like wow. sailing boats, and then uh, we rented the sailing boats to the GIs. So my friend said, uh, "What shall we charge?" I said, "Well, it's I think uh, ten dollars for half an hour." But there was a queue, not hundred people, but thousand people. You know, there was nothing to do. Only the beautiful Thai girls and the beautiful, the nice food. And so at the end, you know, after two days, we charged hundred dollars for 10 minutes renting the sailing boat. So you can imagine we worked our ass off for 24 hours, 36 hours, and then again we had one week off in this, uh, this beautiful environment of Pattaya. And then uh, my friend got pregnant and she didn't want to live over here. And then I followed her because you follow always your love. <laughs> and I went back to Holland. Um, what else do you do? Like, did you join any um, charity group in Hua Hin? Well, no, I'm just over here now. I'm with Lizzie. Uh, you know, I fell in love with her. And uh, when I heard her story that she's doing all kinds of things for charity, you know, uh, of course, I didn't know that before. Uh, we had some dinner, we had some, some breakfast together. Huh? <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, you can think whatever you like. But uh, we had some breakfast together, and, but we're, we're not speaking about that. So I'm, uh, when I, the next time I will meet her, I will offer my capacity as a public speaker when she needs somebody who speaks uh, in the room to collect money or whatever, because I did that uh, already many times in Germany and in France uh -huh. and also in Holland. So perhaps she uh, takes me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that um, you're a public speaker. Yeah. What, why, what do you do? Well, it's a, a subject. It's like human behavior. You know, it's like that. I explain actually the people uh, the manual oh of the brain. God. So it's the manual of the brain. How does it come that some people are successful and other people always try to be successful? How does it come that some people are always unhappy and other people are always happy? So I explain them that uh, for everything is like a manual and also a certain strategy. And we have all the same content of the brain. We have all the same time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And still, some people make a mess out of their life. And other people make their life, dream their life, life their dreams, you know? So what's the secret behind? And that's what I'm telling. I'm doing this uh, almost now 40 years. And I'm doing this in Holland, in Germany, Belgium, France, all over the world, Saudi Arabia, China. And I explain to people and I let them move because motion is emotion. And when you have the awareness of understanding, mm -hmm. then you change your mind. So actually, I'm famous in all Europe because I can change you very quickly. So when you're addict on cigarettes or alcohol or heroin, for example, within one hour, it's gone. Mm, wow. Or you want to be on a diet, or you want to be much nicer to your spouse, or you want to change your behavior because you want to have another job, or you want to earn more money, or you want to be more, more healthy. Then I uh, listen to you, I hear your strategy, and I tell a successful strategy, so you change. Uh -huh. So basically, like your job is to convince people to do something better for their life. No, no convince is, is no. not the right word, because no. I don't convince. I just explain to you what's working in your brain for the best. Mm -hmm. And if you have the choice for the good or the bad, everybody 
sucks for the good, and the good is the light. Everybody wants to walk in the light, and the light is the divine. And that's why I love Thailand so much, because the people over here, you know, they are Buddhist, and the Buddhist teaching is actually the same what I have translated into the Western teaching. It's actually the same, because you have to listen to your body, you have to listen to your food, you have to listen to the animals and to your ancestors, and you have to listen to yourself. Because the divine is not that far away, the divine is in yourself. Uh, have you done any kind of like the group just like explaining the people that are interested in this kind of thing in Hua Hin? Uh, not yet, because I'm only two months here. Okay. And uh, I was in the group, in a Dutch group, and then the Thai women were very interested. And so I offered an evening, so I would come. And then all the Dutch guys said, no, we don't want Mr. Rattelband to come to see my wife because I don't want to have my Thai wife changed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I offered my services, but they didn't accept. Mm -hmm. Would it be okay for you, like, invite you to come here to give, you know, like uh, some kind of education to the people that they want to, you, you know, do something better for their life, like you want to change something? Yeah, the, 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 mm. the moment will come because I'm, I'm connected now with uh, Mr. John from the airport and uh, he's uh, building uh, right away the airport will uh, be a, a place of not about festivals, about amusement, but also about education and about religion, you know, that all kind of people can come over there, so that will be a place. So I offered my time and my energy also to him. So when he says, okay, the time is there, then I go there. What else do you do for fun? What, I'm not, uh, what else do you do for fun in Hua Hin? For fun, uh, I'm walking with my dog every day. I'm uh, sporting every day. I'm walking to the beach. Uh, I'm going to have my glass of hot water <laughs> someplace <laughs> because I don't drink coffee, but I go to the coffee challenge. And I be there and uh, enjoy the people. I try to speak with them, you know. So I forbid them to, to speak in uh, Thai language, uh, uh. to uh, forbid them uh, to speak in English language. So. Uh, so I, I really enjoying, and I've uh, still my businesses in uh, Europe. So a lot of times I have to work in night time. Uh, so I go to bed. I sleep only four hours a night. Oh wow! Yes, and that's also a strategy uh, because four hours. It, yes, it's a certain way of living. You have to do a, a few things about that. I explain that also in my seminars. What you do to sleep only four hours? Because if you look at Mr. Henry Kissinger, perhaps you don't know the name from Vietnam War that time. He's 98 years old, he's completely fit in his brain, and he sleeps only three, four hours a night. And he doesn't do that uh, the last uh, 10 years, but he's doing that already his, long, his whole life. Like uh, John F. Kennedy or Churchill. You know, the, the big icons, you know, they sleep very short because 24 hours is too short mm -hmm. to make your dreams come true. And if you realize that you sleep only four hours or five hours instead of 10 hours, so that means that it's a, a difference of two or three hours a day, seven times is 20 hours, is 1,000 hours in a year. Okay. That's incredible. Well, thank you so much for today for giving out, you know, a lot of interesting about you and the people in Hua, in Hua Hin. And thank you so much for, you know, doing such a good thing for Hua Hin community. Thank you, Ka. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Wow Hua Hin channel. Do leave your comments or questions below and we'll get back to you. The Wow Hua Hin channel is produced by Surf 102.5 and Royal Coast Review in association with the Phoenix Group.